Hello everybody and on today's video we're going to be going to Angono Rizal and it's titled Mom She's of Marikina Goes to Cafe in the Sky. So riding along Baranca Drive in Mandaluyong, um, the entire route took us around 71 kilometers with a moving time of 3 hours and 54 minutes and that's for me with a total of 601 elevation so we st we started to climb uh, Antipolo first so along Baranca it's it's not as bike friendly as you think because there's a lot of potholes there's not uh, there's none at the moment but there's plenty if you look at it on the right um, it's much more dangerous if you're going to be on the far right so I actually prefer sometimes to be right, right in the center so now um, we just reached um, Ortigas area this is actually the ADB Avenue And of course, if there are uphills, there's also downhills, which is going to be along Ortigas extension. Here we go. This road is actually going to give you five to 10% of um, gradient. That will give you a speed of 45 to 50 kilometers an hour. So be very careful because uh, there's plenty of cars in this area, especially during the day. And um, there is an intersection. Um, there's actually one or two intersections uh, along this area. So you need to slow down on those portions. Bago lang. <laughs> now the climb from Masinag all the way to Antipolo Church um, is actually 10 kilometers. Uh, the climb would compose from 5% up to 10% gradient gradually so it will definitely give you you know a high heart rate mine here was around 160 
Anti Polo climb is actually pretty famous for a lot of cyclists because it's it's actually very good for beginner climbers. Uh, you can actually stop on the side just in case you get tired. Uh, plenty of establishments, uh, you know, Lugao area, soft drinks, bo juice. There's plenty, and especially coffee area. And this area, this is where the Ahon Coffee is, uh, one of the famous uh, coffee places that cyclists stops and uh, rest. And we are still riding along uh, Sumulong Highway. We are actually going to Hinulugang Taktak area. And not exactly that area, but we're gonna turn left and then go down uh, from Antipolo. And we are going to take the Tikling downhill. That is going to be a uh, pretty fast paced uh, downhill. It has around 5 to 10, 15% uh, gradient going down. Wasn't able to record that portion where we went down tickling. I uh, had to charge my battery. But this is, uh, we're pretty close to our destination, which is a cafe in the sky. This is Rami uh, following me or at the back. This is the Botong Francisco Avenue climb. This is composed of 5 to 10 up to 13% gradient. And that's April uh, slowly climbing as well. Um, one of the things that you need to remember here is that on the right side, as you can see, or on according to the video, it's on the left. Uh, there's there's a lot of wet areas where it's going to be very slippy or slippery and uh, you need to be very careful. I know you can stand, some people are comfortable standing, but uh, be very careful with the torque that you're going to be applying. We actually passed by the main gate. That is the area where this is the Hillsdale Summit subdivision, by the way. So that's the summit. Uh, of the climb that's where we came from I wasn't able to record everybody but uh, let's just see it was a it was a challenging climb and this is the view you're gonna see in cafe in the sky <laughs> Taon na ba? Ilang taon na? Ilang buwan na doon. So katawan niya lang mag- Kasi mukhang papapakalak mo lang. Ilang taon na ang baby mo? Wow, ikaw. Ay, hindi mo alam. Ten pa lang. Ayan. Ay, so saan ka lang. And after finishing the coffee, it's now the time to head back. We are now riding along uh, Radial Road 5. This is just right after the Tai Tai area it was a short climb and now it's a little bit of downhill probably 5% gradient 
going back to um, the treacherous Ortigas extension where there's a lot as in a lot of traffic which you will see on the video later So we just passed by Toyota Tai Tai and we are fast approaching um, the roundabout or the rotonda which is the intersection of Cabrera and Tikling and Ortigas extension. There's going to be a lot of road work along Ortigas uh, extension and you would see that uh, on the next video. So far the traffic is a little bit light until you reach the portion where there's plenty of road work which is in the middle of the street. around 35 degrees pretty warm and a while ago they actually reached 40 degrees so here you're gonna use a lot of your mountain biking skills where you jump up and down the pavements for you to avoid the potholes uh, you would see there the front cycle the you know the cyclist right in front was actually had, you know applying these skills because of the heavy traffic in the area. I'm sure you guys can relate to this one. And after all those traffic probably stayed there for 30 minutes maneuvering uh, on the side streets it's now time to go back to the main portion of Marikina and this is me using the Brompton climbing the pedestrian flyover um, if you are not too confident there's actually stairs where you can push your bike but um, there was plenty of space so I gave it a go this is the walkway right in front of Santa Lucia mall and right below is the Maralecre um, highway going back to Antipolo or to the right and on your left is going to the Bis area or Cubao so I'm gonna cut the video short because I ran out of battery I forgot to charge the camera so you know goodbye for now thank you for watching <laughs>